Welcome to the world united. Welcome to the world united. The panel discussion topic is going to be on the evolution of planetary consciousness. Here with I have a question for you, Elise. So how do you think the planetary consciousness will be evolved on a mass scale? So how the personal awakening can lead to planetary awakening? How do you think all these personal practices, personal sadhana, personal internalization of consciousness all lead to the planetary evolution of consciousness? What are your inputs and insights on this, please? Thank you very much for this question, and it's a very valuable one. Um, I'm going to invite you to imagine or think like the tree of life. And if we would have, just imagine as a, as a visual, if we would have 10 spheres, you know, in a tree of life, it is being, uh, that it is being shaped as those 10 spheres. And if that would be the at common, which would be the one person, when we go through the evolution of those spheres, when we fulfill what means love, what means compassion, what means positive judgment, what means um, like really fulfilling those spheres, then we come to a state to shift to the next one. So all these tree of life images, think about very basically like 10 spheres. It's like a, uh, it's like a video game. So you get to go around those spheres fulfill them and then you earn the light and then you go to the next level so this is for the for us individually we have connected tree of lives going up towards on our spiritual dna and it's the same thing with the world it is the same thing with the universe so just like those uh, spheres that we're going through the world shifts on its own spiritual DNA. The universe shifts towards a higher consciousness on their spiritual journey. So we have, since we are the main seed of the creation, once we unite within, once we do our inner work and go through the levels of consciousness, accumulatedly, we help the world to shift to a higher state. And the world, the world come together, it helps the universe to shift. We all are connected. Thank you, Elise. Thank you very much for the connectedness of the several domains that are very much required. So I request Grandmother Parisha, the most respected, most esteemed member of the Global Council of the World United to put a few questions to Janata Barry, our panelist here. I would like to actually speak to Janetta, okay? I am so very happy that you've joined us and you shared your heart rendering story. Uh, I sat here, I have a beautiful daughter that is probably a twin soul. I, we think alike, we live alike, and I'm so fortunate to have her. And as you were sharing your experience, I just thought of her not being here and how, how I wouldn't even know how to deal with that. So your reflections were very emotionally healing, very, very powerful. Do you not sometimes feel that the work that you've taken now that Jen has passed, do you think maybe that she's actually working through you and actually assisting you with the wonderful ability you have now to express very calm and very loving you express dealing with grief and it's such a it's a hard time for people to deal with grief but you come with it so peaceful and direct so do you not feel that she's there i sense her with you when you talk very much so um just so honorable that you can sense that and feel it without a doubt uh where jenny used to say i can't I can't be heard and I can't express my throat is sore. She's now on a level of consciousness that can, can clearly communicate. And there's no doubt when I'm working with people, her energy and presence is there. When people read Full Circle Rainbow, I often get um, a message to say, I can feel Jenny here from people who are just not spiritually minded. She's, she's very clear and certain and direct now. And I could not have done this work and we could not have done this if she'd remained in this, this level of consciousness. It's just such a 
a painfully beautiful gift. I thank her every day. And what is the name of your book? I think it's, it's full, full Circle Rainbow. Okay. It's very simple. Uh, that's why I love it, is that it, it's very simple, easy steps for a beginner who's never worked with all that we've worked with in this level of consciousness. So it, it's the, the bridge to that divide. And, and that's why she sent very simple uh, messages. By way of example, if I'm sitting with somebody with a similar energy to, to Jenny, um suddenly a yellow butterfly will fly into the into the room and that was one of her signs uh, and there it is flying around that person and there's and sometimes um she communicates in numbers so that seven and nine are very profound numbers her birth date and her death date are filled with seven and nines nobody else in our family is so Wonder. all these things, just amazing, amazing. I wouldn't change this as much as I miss her and anniversaries are out. Um, I wouldn't change this because I know that this was the life purpose we were both born to be and create. It's been just very precious and is. It is, yes it is. I, I, it's so good to hear you share the yellow butterfly. My grandmother was full blood Cherokee and she was a spiritual elder. And when she passed, I was very angry with her that she passed. You go through those phases of grief, right? And every time I would verbally express my, my disappointment and anger that she would leave at this time, you know what I'm saying? There would be this beautiful yellow butterfly. I mean, in the dead of winter, when it's like sub below zero weather out there, where could a butterfly come from, right? And it, other people would see it. It wasn't just my experience. Other people would see it and say, what is that, a moth? And I'd say, no, look at it. It's a beautiful yellow butterfly. And every time that happened, there would be some rewarding experience. Somebody, somebody would come to me with something, not asking, but giving, you know, it was such a beautiful means of communication. I have since become aware though, that she's very, she presents me with images now. There's sometimes when my, my sink has a window over it and I'll be washing dishes and thinking, okay? And I'll look up and for just a split second, her face is there. So I'm hoping wow. that Jen begins to show herself more openly for you. Yeah, that would be amazing. That There's been a sense for some time that it's not been necessary. Um, but funnily enough, we had a big Jenny's Day because she died on World Mental Health Day, which is just another one of, you know, yes, okay, Jen, not surprising. And there I got a sense that that is going to happen more and more. And... Um, Thank you for that. I really honor and appreciate that message. Thank you. Well, thank you so very, very much. It was very powerful. And may you be blessed. So another question for you, Elis. Uh, you know, Turkey is much more famous. The oldest man-made structure still exists in Turkey. The Sorry, I you're uh, Dr. Uganda, yeah, you're breaking up. We couldn't hear your question. Would you be kind to repeat it? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Turkey has got the oldest man-made structures. Turkey has got the, the most memorable structure of tyranny, the Tower of Galata. We have got the straight separating the Asia and Europe, which has been a witness of massacre and genocide. Mm -hmm. And it has history of long spiritual history from Protean times, from the times of Homer, 10,000 BC and all. And a lot of concepts, a lot of healers with the Middle Age Kabbalahs, the Middle Age Merkaba healing methods, the age old cultural habits of Turkey all put together is a, a cocktail of spiritual enlightenment. So based upon this, how do you see Turkey and all these age old concepts of spirituality and culture and way of living is going to join the mainstream planetary consciousness? How do you see that? How do you connect that? Because Turkey becomes the most important transcontinental nation 
because of the decline of Byzantine Empire and uh, Ottoman Empires, all these things, turning of capital cities from Constantinople to Istanbul, is a tremendous history now. So it has a very great cultural, linguistic and spiritual history as well. How it is going to connect the spiritual mainstream knowledge? Wow, I'm having goosebumps as you're asking this question. <laughs> it's like you already know, you're just holding me the space just to share it. And actually, Romeo just did it uh, earlier too, when he was inviting the compassion and love that, you know, like that feminine aspect. Like this week is the uh, anniversary of patriarch the rachel the rachel represents compassion and love and also romeo was coming from india and he, he was bringing that uh, archetype from his culture or like from there so we all are united and you are very right uh, turkey will be holding a big sacred spiral so that the middle east and all that mesopotamia can shift it has already started and all the souls they actually we all have been called back i was living in california i had my businesses coaching businesses and i was going to events and i i had a wellness center and then while at a, a the meditation with practitioners from oneness university from india and then woof this vision was shown a shift was taking place all around the world and turkey especially istanbul was taking a big, big place. Less than six months, I found myself in Istanbul. So like all, all of us, we are actually going back to our um, life purpose. So we are all calling back. And Turkey will have a big, it has already started, as I mentioned, is it has a big place. Maybe you have heard about Göbekli Tepe. This year, they opened it for everyone. Yeah, the world is, yes exactly like i always have this notion wasn't it there before yes it was but we didn't become aware of it and we're talking about the world's most ancient spiritual gathering place like fifteen thousand years ago it's more than the abrahamic religions and everything it was there for all these millions of years why are we becoming aware of it now is the real question and in that Göbekli Tepe, I think that's where the seed is going to come up and shine from there. The statues are very interesting. When you stand in the middle of it, there is two big statues and then there are 12 of them around that too. It's all almost like a representation of where we are coming from. Right before we come to this world, there are two beings on our right side and our, to our left side, and we are at a council. It's a representation of that. All that people, they were remembering that time. And now is the time to shift to the fifth level of consciousness which is opening up the gates are open so the signs are there the dna's are shifting so it's a matter of us individuals taking responsibility and doing the work yeah, thank you very much you know pythagoras came from turkey the teacher of socrates chromadius came from turkey so when the turkish empire was ruling the roman and greek empires all the great masters were driven from turkey to mainland greece and macedonia where they have brought up the wonderful spiritual masters like Socrates, Plato, Academicus, Epicurus, Herodotus, Lucifer, so many great masters came from the teachings of Turkey. Thank you very much. So it's a, because a, a long history of transcontinental culture and enlightenment has been lying in Turkey more than any country in Asia and uh, Europe except India. So thank you very much. And uh, the knowledge of Turkey is going to be very much helpful with the new coming star beings of Turkey a lot. A lot of star beings are there in Turkey. The portal of entry for star beings, one of the important portals of the Turkey, uh, of star beings is helping to be Turkey. So thank you very much, uh, Elise. And uh, all this knowledge is going to be very much helpful for the evolution of global planetary consciousness. Thank you very much. Yeah, you have any questions, Grandmother? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Any questions from you, Grandmother? The last no, the panel discussion. 
Okay. I would like Thank to you. comment on a question because she's already given us a ton of answers, but he has this, I can't say your name, Eliz, is that how you say your name? That, that's wonderful, yes, Eliz. Okay. I want to say you express it well, and there's just so many different vibrations come off of you when you're sharing. You are a wealth of just emanations of really great things to talk about. Have you ever really, have you gone to any particular sites to where you maybe had some kind of awakening? Did you, have you arrived someplace and felt an impact? Because there's, there's something that's attached there. Do you know what it is? Can you share it? Parisha, thank you very much for picking that up and <laughs> asking so we can highlight that. Um, I, I was not born in a religious family. Nevertheless, I was always interested in the Abrahamic religions, you know, why there were three books, why there was separation. And then the, the latest one, the Islam was talking about unity. So what's happening? Why there is constantly war at this um, place in Middle East? where the, all the lights came through, you know? So I was asking all these questions, and in California, I, I did an e event called Date with Destiny. What a name, huh? <laughs> so at that event, um, I have been taken to uh, oneness, Diksha uh, meditation, Diksha blessing. And in that blessing, something happened, like uh, a state of being. My thoughts stopped, time stopped, everything stopped. There was no minute after, no minute later, no thought, total serenity, silence. And at the same time, I was in my body, but I wasn't in my body. It was a quite interesting experience. And I found myself laying on the floor like this, like a genuine position, like in my mother's womb. And my hands were like closed, you know, like where you can feel your heartbeat and where all the Reiki and all these energies come out of your hands. I was able to feel that. I was feeling it. And for a second, my judgmental mind thought I was dying. <laughs> and the moment, um, one of the practitioners, he came and hold my hand. He said, don't worry, we have all gone through this process. <gasps> my mind started to freak out. I'm like, okay, I'm dying. Now you're my angel. You're going to take me to that place. And I asked him, am I dying? And then he goes like, I hope you are, <laughs> because we are going to reborn. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. So part of me knew the experience that I was going through, but my judgmental mind was trying to take me back to the world. So I'm going to keep it very short because I don't want to take the time. Um, it was in California, very sacred place, Arizona. And in that experience, I asked that being, I said, why are we here on this world? And a voice spoke to me. Maybe it was my unconscious. I don't know. We'll know it when we're there. But it said, it's just you and I and creation. There is nothing, but it's just us. And the whole concept of being living on this world is about transformation, transforming me consciousness into we, even letting go of the we and then transforming into oneness, which you came from. So that was the first place when I had the initiation. Thank you very much for asking this so I was able to share. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Uh, with this, we'll close this uh, panel and we will move on to the benediction, the last part of the World Parliament on Spirituality, Europe chapter, the second in the series of the third edition of the World Parliament on Spirituality. So, uh, before we start the tune, the live tune of Ma Tejo Mai, can you show up? Esta Mataji, are you there? Okay. See him? You are here? Yeah, please stay tuned. So before you before you are going to sing for all of us. I'm here. <laughs> it, yeah, before you are you going you are going to sing the World United tune. I request to have the the Divine Peace Band. You know, the Divine Peace Band uh of Asia, they are uh, very, very popular. Uh, just just hold on uh, some for a moment. So these people uh 
almost more than 200 people with uh, 16 musical instruments. They all trained, tuned, or certain tunes. They all assembled in Taiwan from almost 10 countries, from Japan, Korea, North and South Korea, Taiwan and all. They all came to uh, Taiwan. They came by a chartered flight to the city of Hyderabad in 2012 to play music, welcoming the speakers and delegates from the main gate of the premises of the venue to the main entrance of the auditorium for 45 minutes slow walk. They played, 200 people came only to welcome the speakers and delegates. So they all again got aligned with the World Parliament on Spirituality, third chapter now. So they, I said, why don't you play a tune for all of us? So they prepared a tune especially for the World Parliament on Spirituality Europe chapter for 10 minutes. Hundreds of musicians joined, especially only for us in Taiwan and they have sent this video. Mm -hmm. So let us have this video played. After that, I request Esta Mataji, our wonderful lady, a princess of Cameroon, a great sing singer, a soul singer, I should say, living in Paris, France. She is going to sing for us the World United Signature Tune. Are you ready, Esta? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> After this tune, I request you to get ready, please. Thank you very much. What do you, Samyukta? Sound. Able to hear? The sound. The, the yeah. sound. Sound is not coming. Sound is not coming. I think, I think the cosmos is cosmos is giving indication for Mataji to play the signature tune quickly. Yes, the Mataji. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Samjita, you can stop this video. We can try later. Oh, okay. okay. There's a technical glitch. Audio is not. Yeah, the audio. I see the audio. Yeah, yeah. So, so the problem with audio. Okay, anyway, this type I'm of problems are common. So, I request Yasta Mataji. Otherwise, she is uh, given the Indian name Ma Tejo Mai Devi. She is a Kriya Yoga practitioner now. And uh, she came all the way from Paris to Hyderabad in 2012 to compose and present this music of the World United in 2012. So, I asked her, yeah, we are, that is going to be our anthem for World Parliament of Spirituality for all the ages to come. So as long as the planet Earth is going to be alive, the World Parliament of Spirituality event will be alive. Someone will continue forward always, though we don't exist in physical bodies, yet this event will continue forever. The unity consciousness will continue forever. This is a fact. Are you ready, Mataji? Can you play a tune for us, please? Okay, thank you. Thanks again. Thank I'm short of words to express um, fully the honor, the beauty, uh, the enlightenment that uh, all that is happening now is actually, you know, bringing to the planet and to all the dimensions that we are in. And um, I'm very happy to share again. Unmute, please. Oh, namaste. Thank you again for inviting Thank you so much for inviting me. And um, I'm short of words. So I'm just going to express it with my voice. The gratitude, the love, the light, the unconditional uh, Forgiveness, forgiveness and recognition, and recognition of, who of who we are. We are, we are, we are. I'm going to start I'm with the song that song came to me came before, before I received the invitation for the World United and the World Parliament on Spirituality. This song came like a beam of light. 
and then the masters came in response to my calling so so mataji just a moment please sorry for interrupting you you please uh, switch off from your track 2 you have also logged on track 2 please switch off from track 2 so that we can prevent the echo no please oh i oh, you want to in two platforms um, leave okay okay yeah leave on on, on track 2 yeah, sure sure <laughs> Oh, I am the truth and the light. I am the truth and the light. 
Video buttons, please. Please show. We are one. Truth is one. The earth is one. So let's be united. Shandala, 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 shandala. Mm-hmm. World united. We are one. Truth is one. The earth. All of you, please open your audio and video button, please. Thank you. Open your videos. Let me see all I your faces. Lara, Nirmala, Michelle, Dragonfly, Geraldine, Marion, please open up. Let us. Let me see all of you. Open your videos, please. Let us see all. Each one of you. So we have got our next event uh, uh, going to happen in. First week of November, 5th to 9th November, South America. I just would like to introduce Lara Del Barrio. Lara, can you just say hi? Lara. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you say hi to Lara to everyone? Hi. <laughs> okay. So she is a lead lady of South America. Gaston, maybe you can also recommend a few people there. South America is full of speakers. Uh, they crossed the three-digit figures already long back. Same with North America, which is going to happen on 19th to 23rd November. So two uh, events, great events with almost 400 speakers plus in the next month, November 2020, followed by Africa on 19 to 20, uh, 9th to 13th uh, December, followed by 19 to 23 in Asia chapter. The last day of the series of the World Parliament is going to be on 23rd December 2020. But on 21st December, we are going to have the 100 million people meditation hour between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Wherever you are, in whichever geographical mass you are in, kindly participate in this mass global meditation for 60 minutes. So kindly pass the message, we will, we will forward the posters so that we can circulate this in your respective languages. Already it has been translated to all 30 to 40 languages as much as you know. So here with, you know, we are on the back end of the World Parliament on Spirituality event, Europe chapter. So we should understand the greatness of this landmass called as Europe. Europe, you know, the people came to Europe from Africa as the history knows from Africa. Uh, 35,000 years back, 
people came from Africa uh, and uh, there were so many migrations, Indo-European migrations across all uh, geographical parts of entire uh, European continent and it has been converted into Minoan and Mycenaean eras. These Minoan Mycenaean eras has taken place into the Cultural Revolution. So with that, with the arrival of Homer, you no, know, who has produced two great classics, uh, Iliad, uh, Iliad, Odyssey, uh, great uh, classics written by Homer. So uh, all this came from the land of uh, Macedonia, Greece, and Turkey. So almost ten thousand years back, he has produced these great epics. Which, is, which we are even today following, followed by so many types of wars, the rise and fall of Roman Empire, the French Revolution, all these, uh, uh, the Punic Wars between uh, Rome and uh, Egypt, so many wars have been happening, and with the uh, entry of religions and the religious divide, so many wars happened, so many genocides happened, and uh, from 500 to 1500 years, for almost 1000 years, there has been medieval time, mid even not medieval, it should be called as medieval time, so uh, only blood was flowing in the Bosphorus Strait, separating uh, Asia and uh, Europe and everywhere, all geographical locked areas, landlocked areas. So with the with the movement of wars, genocides, bloodshed, religious disharmony, there was there has been rise of spirituality as well, in the form of healers, Hippocratic healers, the pagan medicine healers, the folk medicine of Europe, the white witches of uh, Europe, the Celtics and roots of Ireland and uh, Scotland and England. So, so many types of healers also were spreading spirituality and with the 17th century um, even before that the renaissance period has come with so many sculptors artists poets have come forward the shakespearean era even with the uh, entry of plague the black death the the spirit of europe was not deterred it was spiritually much more enlightened it has become much more stronger so with the renaissance era the post renaissance era also and with the uh, French Revolution, followed by the Russian Revolu uh, Revolution, followed by World Wars, followed by the Iron Curtain, followed by the Cold Wars, the spirituality was also emerging through the scientific inventions, through discoveries. And Europe has been known for its adventure, for curiosity, for enthusiasm, for enlightenment, in the form of so many great people like Francis Bacon, who is supposed to be the incarnation of William Shakespeare, Leo Tolstoy, Leonardo da Vinci, Schrodinger, Werner Heisenberg, so many great scientists, and uh, uh, Tesla, Nikolaus Tesla, and so many great scientists, and who are also spiritually much enlightened, have been born in this land of Europe. So now Europe needs a, Euro a council, unity council, unity consciousness council of the world united. So I, I informed, I welcomed Jacqueline La Maria Langstaff, uh, who has been known to me for um, uh, more than a decade. And I also invited Jeevananda Ole Mandra to join this European Council of the World United. So I would like to read out what is this council all about, so that it will be very helpful to all of you. So what, what a council member of the World United is supposed to understand? Why a council is required for global spiritual awakening, a large number of spiritual beings are required from regional level to global level to awaken the humankind from spiritual slumber. The aim of this council is to awaken the unconditional unity consciousness. And how can it be done? Convergence of energy of several spiritual beings of the world who can take up leadership in the areas of their expertise. If we all are doing it already, why a global council for unity consciousness is needed? All our individual activities from the travel have existed since many years, but the size, for the size of 7.5 billion population, collective activity for a massive awakening seems to be required. Uh, as building unity seems to be very, very important than uniformity, and to bring a massive unity consciousness apart from individual activity, there seems to be a need to have collective activity as well, as there is some lot of individual activity from our side, there need to be collective activity, a global collectivity activity as well. So as a part of the collective activity, a thousand day plan is proposed here with. For the year 2020, the formation of global council of 18 members, three from each continent, who in turn will form an 18 member continent wise councils, and who in turn will form nine member council nationwide 
So uh, by December 2020, we are much interested to initiate the continent-wise councils. Already the Asian Council has been initiated, African Council has been initiated, South American Council, North American Council, Australia Council also been initiated. Now we are in the formation and initiation of the European Council. And for the year 2021, these continent and nation-wise councils will take up a three-day online event on unity consciousness inviting a minimum of 50 speakers and involving as many participants as is possible in each country and no country should be spared. For the year 2022, the activity will descend down to a state or provincial level and form a nine member councils as per the country. Each nation is uh, going to form a nine member council and for 2023, the awakening is aimed through unity at a grassroots level, both by pure and applied spiritual aspects. For the year 2024, a grand world parliament on spirituality, fourth edition, as a physical summit and at the same time an online one for those who cannot participate in person can be manifested with as many pre parliaments across the world as possible. No, the final outcome is yeah. if we can hold the energy for a thousand days collectively, we can manifest a real grand spiritual awakening really needed for the world and for which we are all are born assisting each other as a part of the evolution of human consciousness. So this is the document which we are prepared and presenting in front of you. So I request Grandmother Parisha also to speak a few words about the importance of unity consciousness and how we are forming councils global level at continent level and how uh, uh, Grandmother is seeing the importance of unity consciousness in the present world scenario. I have been uh, traveling around the world. I've celebrated my 80th birthday last Friday while the program began. And I've traveled most of my life, 60 years, actually reading ancient tablets and studying the lost civilizations and the history that we have evolved through. And in it, we have come to a place to where everyone's agreeing at this point that there's almost a repeated prophecy in most of the digs and most of the findings of tablets and ancient any, any particular message in pottery stone or however we we find it and it talks about now it talks about right now okay and how do we know that there's so many common particular things that show up that says all this is happening right now okay the the different climate changes the where we are in consciousness the challenges of our consciousness at this time okay and that what it talks about right after this particular time this particular circle okay that we then evolve into a huge burst of consciousness and we begin to explore ourselves almost in the term of superhuman and it's nothing other than what you and I have been studying most of our life. Okay, we have come to answers in our own exploring of ourselves. I uh, today actually hearing how many subjects is based on us finding the, the adventure is in us, not out here. So when we begin to look at this, I had decided that in January of 2021, I was going to start this whole series of programs to do just exactly what Yaganda is doing. And in our relationship, he's always been present in my life ever since I made my journey in India and we did our first parliament, okay? And then I began, to, he called me at the lot pretty much when he had everything put into motion already and said, what do you think? Will you join me? Can we do this? And the answer is absolutely, we will do this. The vision is not just here in us present. It's in all time that goes as far back as evolution and all time that goes forward. So we begin to be a circle. And in that circle, we're exactly on time. So all that I've spent these many years just reading and asking the question, there's always a common thread and it talks about a particular period of time. Okay, and it particularly always shows that there is a great gathering so look at us, look at everyone who has come with their mission, with their, with their message, with their hearts. We are the gathering. 
And when I actually put it together and was looking and started working with what we're doing here, I began to find little notes that I had made at every read, you know, every time we had a dig and I would see the particular symbology and different writings that were saying the same thing. And I said, what is the same thing that they keep trying to reiterate? What are we talking about here? And it's now, it's us. And when I've sat and listened to your presentations, all of you are on point. All of you. We are creating a great met matrix, a mass of consciousness. We cannot do it alone. Yaganda and I can give it everything we have. It would not be enough. It needs all of us. We all are part of it. You make a difference. You count. You matter. That fingerprint says that you're individual. There's not another one like it. So you, you are in it because you fit. So as we move forward and we continue to develop all of the scheduling that you've heard him describe and all of what we're looking to do yet, we need that mass. We need that force. We need each one of you, each of you a cell on the body of consciousness. So consciousness is already here. We are knowing it. We are feeling it. Every one of you have given great confidence in what you know and why you're here. Now's the time that we join together and we actually become all of the councils that are needed. Every one of you have a message. And I can promise you this, as much as I have learned in my 80 years, I have come to see things in a very high level of awareness. And every one of you make a difference in the world that we're looking at and the world that we're resolving. You're needed. You are so desperately needed. And that in, in it, constantly there's a phrase that says, as I lift myself, I lift all others unto myself. It is an ancient statement that exists in all indigenous people's prayers. They're talking about now. It's talking about you. It's talking about it has to be done and it has to be done now. So our world is in chaos. I find that exciting because see the walls of corruption and the walls of just massive dishonoring has started to crumble. There's things that has happened that yes, I cannot say I'm happy about everything that's happened, but I am happy that it's challenging us to take it now, to do it now. We could say we're too busy. I know that when I began to look at the dates that Uganda had already set, I have a schedule that's jammed for five years at a time. And I began to look at that and, and of course be human. I began to say, oh, I can't, I don't know, how, how, how am I gonna fit that? And then I just turned it over I turned it over to the presence that we all abide with and said, help me make this happen. And people began to tell me, you know, this particular time doesn't work. Could I schedule it a different time? Everybody that would have been in the particular blockage of this cleared for me. It will for you. It will for you. You are here to deliver what you came in to be. Purpose, you may call it. Destiny, you may call it but it's about who you are and it's about that fingerprint. What we know with DNA and what we have learned through the great sciences, the spiritual sciences, we all have a code and we all resonate and we're a great harmony. When we say universe, we're saying uni, one voice. That is all what surrounds us in our planets, in our lives and all about us. So let us be the example of that. Let's walk our talk. And let's be everything that we could be. You've all been generous. Yaganda and I are so grateful for that. This man makes sure that he does not make cost or money a problem. He just wants the word out there. Each one of us could do that. So join with us. Get into the mass that's happening. You didn't just coincidentally be here. You didn't make the time because of something else other than it is us that needs to do it. We will get bigger in numbers. We have been sending out millions, millions a day of just information. 
and I've been asking Uganda, give me articles so that I could put it out because people want answers and questions to be, to be answered now. So with all the help that you can get, the many hands, we could get out far more information. So come on board, get with the councils, support us in however you can, because it is you, it is me. We have to do this. We will find the peace and happiness that comes with the knowing that we have lifted consciousness and we have stopped suffering. I thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. All good things. Thank you very much, Grandmother. Thanks a lot. Uh, here with we have got uh, our uh, council members of the continent, Australia, Asia. I would like to introduce uh, uh, Michelle Reinhardt. Can you just say hi, Michelle? Michelle, she was uh, moderating on track two uh, for both Australia and uh, uh, Europe. Yes, Michelle, you are requested to be on track two. Track two is your property for the rest of the continent events. <laughs> And, and I might have to. Um, I might just have to ask my family. It's a. a <laughs> they just. I disappear. It's beautiful. I love it. It's a privilege. Thank you, Dr. Uganda. Thank you. Thank you, Parish. So uh, I request uh, Geraldine to say hi. Hello to everybody. Wonderful to see your faces and to hear the wisdom shared over these days. Yeah, we have Marian here. Marian, Marian, you are here. Hello, yeah, please, Marian. So Marian is also a member of the continent Australia, Asia. and Ma Tejo uh, Mai in the previous chapter was called. She was called Esther Divine. She is also representing Africa Council of the World United. Can I have a few words from you, Esther Mataji? Yes, my dear. Um, I think there is more to do. And as uh, Gaston was saying previously, there is more to feel than to say. Um, there is more action to be taken. But the beingness is what we need to get into. When we are uh, within, we don't see what is going uh, outside. All the bad news are always coming from outside. <laughs> we are the good news. So the more we are within, the more we dwell uh, within, the more we radiate all over the world. And I, I really truly believe that it, this is, again, in using all the wonderful tools that we have, that we can go along and we can share and just spread the joy and be that joy. Uh, we don't need to force, we just have to be, to be ourselves, to be in the joy, to be in the abundance, to be in the light, the divine that we are. And for me, it's actually, I think it's more simple than what we think. Um, we just have to take action little by little. And when we stumble, we just rise again and we just continue. And this is how I believe that uh, all our multi-dimension uh, multi -dimension is going to arise and take place. And yeah. uh, the world united it is not only the, this planet, is the whole universe. So if we think, uh, actually, I believe that we have, we're going to join uh, our uh, forces and our unconditional love and light with other, all the beings that are assisting us as, as well. And we're going to go stronger. And I'm very, very happy and uh, honored uh, to support Africa with this because we have this ancestral um, spirituality that in my uh, site, in my opinion, it really needs to be revived and uh, shared again with the world. So as, a, as we say, we are one. Let's be united. Thank you very much, uh, Esther Mataji. I would like to introduce Lara Del Barrio from Brazil. Lara, you are here. Can you speak? Yes. Up you Say hi. Lara, she's from the American one. Yeah. 
It's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor to be here. And the movement here in South America is very beautiful. Uh, I don't know if this is the right word, but it's very special, like all the continents. Uh, a lot of different leaders, spiritual leaders, coming together for the same purpose. And we are very happy to be part of this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lara. Uh, Lara is building a great team there. She already built a beautiful team, wonderful team. Extraordinary. Uh, you know, uh, I was uh, wondering when uh, the decision for going online, the decision to go virtual was taken on 15th of July 2020. I was wondering how uh, we, sh we should deal with South America because language is a big issue there. Neither I know Spanish or Portuguese, nor many of the speakers know English. So how could be the communication? So Gaston is laughing. <laughs> he knows the problem. <laughs> so uh, an angel and, came and the, in the form the of Lara. The presentations will be in the local language, Portuguese or Spanish, and we will, we are trying to put the subtitles in English for everybody uh, receive our message. So with the help of uh, Google Translate, with the help of translators and interpreters, so the communication was going on. And the beautiful, incredible team has been built in South America. You join on 5th to 9th November, you will be surprised to see how beautiful this event is going to be. South America World Parliament on Spirituality. And uh, the team is completely ready, perfect. So uh, here with I've got, we have got uh, Dr. Uh, Wai Ching Lee. She's a global council member. So, uh, Dr. Lee, uh, let us hear from you a few words, please. Okay. What importance of unity consciousness about the initiation and formation of the European Council as well. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much, Dr. Uganda and, and Grandmother Parisha for creating this chalice to invite all souls to converge. And this is such a heartening experience as we converge with the many realities, the many different groups of souls coming together to uplift our planetary consciousness and also our intergalactic consciousness and the interdimensional consciousness of, uh, of this uh, coming together of the highest frequency of love. And if we want to just go beyond the um, words and just uh, the human intentions and take it to the realm of spirit and if the realm of uh, sacred signs of 432 frequencies of the heart and to connect with each other in the heart and to keep upraising these frequencies. And I was just feeling to um, just reach out right now for this crystal chalice as we are all chalices of our vibratory light and colors and this, our cosmos that if we could ring in each of our soul songs, our own consciousness and our holographic, holographic selves to um, even heighten our work in this few days on earth time and following and weaving the tapestry of what we are here to do together as incarnated beings. So if I'm, I'm allowed to just ring in this tone that we all go in just to connect for this moment beyond words, beyond actions. And inviting each one of us to sing in our soul songs and participate in our nuances either with closed eyes or open eye meditation.
In the silence and solace of the soul, we are one. Thank you very much, Dr. Lee. So uh, here with uh, we, we, when I was talking about the initiation and formation of the European Council of the World United, so I had a word with or is my age old friend, Jacqueline Maria Langstaff from Denmark. Jacqueline? Uh, yes, hello. Yeah, you are here, okay. So mm -hmm. uh, I would like to listen, in fact, all of us would like to listen a few words from you about how we can form this European Council of the World United. Well, I guess it's already forming. I don't have so much to say about how to do it. But can I share something that came to, to me as I was listening to you all here? Yes, because yes. as I was listening, you know, I remembered my first awakening happened when I was just five years old. And then later on, when I was about 19, and I projected it into religion, you know, the Christian religion. Then I had a greater opening and went on my spiritual pathway with my guru until the awakening happened. And I functioned as a kind of guru for myself. As, but I've also traveled a lot in the world and met a lot of the indigenous people. And they've shared so much of their knowledge with me. I was just thinking about Credo Mutwa in Africa. I spent five days with him years ago and he, he shared all this knowledge from the star people. I didn't expect to get all the wisdom from the star people down in the depths of Africa. And what I'm seeing with the world united, it's like in a very normal way, natural way, all these pathways coming together. And I always love the saying, I think it's from the Hopi Indians, we are the ones we've been waiting for. I think I have it on my website somewhere. But this is what I'm feeling today. It's all just coming together. And I've often said to my students the last year or so, <clears throat> now it's now. This is it. You know, don't go back to sleep. It's now. And we're ready to do what we're here to really do. So thank you so much, Dr. Uganda, and all the people who've taken part. And I'm just very, very honored and happy to be able to be on the councilship. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jacqueline. So I also invited uh, uh, Jeevananda Ole Mandra, a wise man, a spiritually wise man. So I also invited him. So we are very much honored to have him on the council. May I have a few words from you, uh, Jeevananda Ole Mandra, please? Uh, yes, I think. Can you hear me now? Yes, please. Okay. I don't know how to to make my picture on on the screen because this is my very first Zoom meeting. Uh, so so I, I'm glad that you can only hear me. Um, I'm not very uh, well uh, used to to uh, to these kinds of, of things. But anyway, I am very happy <clears throat> to be on the the council. And I, I see it as we have probably, a lot of us have worked with like individual cells also around the world with our pupils. And now we have a chance to, to get together and uh, to unite and uh, make uh, a whole, a whole like the, the global consciousness is uh, a possibility that we can all navigate in. So uh, it has been something that I have been looking for and looking forward to. So thank you very much for taking the initiative and uh, I'm looking forward to 
getting to know all of you better and hopefully with the next meeting you'll be able to see a picture of me also so you can get to know me but thank you for now thank, thank you. you very much uh, Jivaranda. thanks a lot so uh, anyone would like to speak here to be a part of the european council of the world united the plan is to have 18 members in each continent as a council members so 18 uh, into six continents will form uh, these continent councils so uh, again uh, in the year 2021 we are going to have nation wise unity summits like we have today this year continent wise world parliaments on spirituality for each continent uh, we have uh, world parliament on spirituality virtual summit next year in 2021 we were we are going to have a two day or three day summit for each country that means 200 summits in the year 2021 so with the completion of these summits by the end of the year 2021 we'll form the nation wise councils for all nations of the world and we will descend down one step down in 2022 we'll reach to state level or province level so we have taken a top down approach from a global level continent level country level and now the state and province level to local body or regional level so that by 2024 we'll reach the grassroots level and we want to touch the souls of as many people as possible and there is no enforcement here it is self-awakening that is the real investment for the global conscious awakening so if anyone would like to speak a few words would like to join most welcome Elise Ruzga, you are speaking. Hi again. Uh, it's, it's, it's an honor to be here. And uh, I look forward to uh, our next uh, unfoldings, I shall say. And uh, I think uh, I will take it step by step today and with this event we get gathered. Um, and let's see how it will unfold. And I know and I'm very aware that we are the leaders and even this place that we gathered here, even this is an illusion that we have created at one of the ancient times so that we can gather here. And I don't think it's a coincidence at this time of uh, <laughs> time in history when all the craziness is happening, we're here staying sane, in love, connected and looking forward to unfold even bigger uh, events. Um, my passion is, is, is very much on the uh, feeding the hunger and also helping the ones uh, that are going through war, especially in the Middle East, especially women and kids, so uh, that are going through a lot of uncertainty. And that's what I also work on on other summits too, the wellness of, of um, feminine energy, I shall say, because they're going to keep on birthing the uh, spiritual DNA, DNA DNAs that we're flowering at the moment. So they're going to be the ones who are going to take this. Um, if we would be the wisdom elders, I mean, I don't want to even say like that, but they're going to keep on taking it to the next uh, nations. So anything aligned around like women, kids, especially in Middle Eastern area, uh, that really warms my heart that I would love to contribute. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Anyone would like to speak? Yes. Yes. Um, first of all, I would like to say um, thank you very much for the invitation and uh, that I really feel your heart. So when you talk, Grandma, and you open your heart and, and I feel very welcome. It's so beautiful for me to see your faces. You are coming from different continents, different forms, but I can feel the heart. So it's, it's very touch for me. So I really, I really like it, love it actually. And um, what I would like to say is um, if I can support somehow with the languages I speak. I speak four languages, so I am very happy to support in whatever it is, Spanish, Italian, German, English, whatever it is. And I would like to share this, uh, this possibility to learn how to feel with consciousness. And uh, if there is some way to do it, I can, I can put it here on the table and you will tell me how it will be. 
And I would like to share to you two things. Um, in 1999, uh, I used to be a dancer and I was dancing at home in Buenos Aires. And, uh, and suddenly it was 3 p.m. And suddenly I start to see a vision and it was a lot of people around. It was like a foot, football stadium. And I ask, what is this? Uh, it's, and, and I ask also, what are we doing here? And it says, we are rising vibration. And I ask, how many people is here? It's 45,000 people. And I was just looking around and everybody was sitting, relaxed and feeling. And I say, wow, it, it was just, they, they show me this. And then the other thing is, I was always sitting with, with a group of people with a map on the table and we were putting dots in the map, in the world map. And I remember I was putting the 124. So it's, it's the first time that I am with people that I see that all these visions and all this information that came, it's so close and so uh, touchable. So thank you very much for the invitation and, and count with me, whatever it is, and I can support, I am here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, really. Thank you, Danda, can I say yes. something? Yes, yes, grandmother. With all my heart, I would love for you to be in one of our councils and come forward. You have such impact. You and Eliz, we need you. We need you because of the vibration that you broadcast. And think of the many that's out there that are still seeking and are still hungry. They, they have nothing of this. They go home, they watch the news, they sit there and, and time just flows. You can make the difference. You are the difference. And I so appreciate that you have the courage to stand here with us today and say, whatever, you'll make it happen. We need that. We need that strength and that power. And it is, please look at the fact that what you have going is definitely needed. But please see if there's... members on the platform, uh, Jacqueline Mary Longstaff and Jeevananda Ole Mandra. So people who would like to come forward, yes, please come forward. Take your time. Take your inner voice, the message of your soul, because unity consciousness is the longing of the whole mankind. It is not, we are not building another network on the board. We are not interested. We are interested in true unconditional unity consciousness enough of all this networking fed up enough so we want uh, real practical most unconditional unity consciousness that is going to be permanently governing the world so it should be the unity and love and unconditionality which should rule and govern the world consciousness so we are truly very sincerely very honestly aiming for this unconditional unity consciousness to be awakened through all of us so to be, we began with these thousand speakers of the world parliament of spirituality. Slowly we can descend down. We can become 10,000, 1 million, 1 billion people slowly. So 1 billion people get awakened. The rest of the 6 or 7 billion people will just get awakened by default. So that is the main strategy, the pathway and the vision that is holding us, holding each one of us. The cosmic vision is has been flowing through all of us, each one of us. This is my personal feeling. Thank you very much once again. So the next announcement, we made two announcements on, on this uh, uh, World Parliament on Spirituality Europe chapter. The first announcement is to have a world continued medical spiritual education program, a global uh, spirituality health summit that is going to happen on 5, 6, 7 April 2022 uh, with 400 to 500 types of he healers and uh, healing modalities. And we also announced uh, uh, a global summit on eco-spirituality, the combination of spirituality and environment on 3, 4, 5 June. June 5th is going to be the World Environment Day. These two summits will go going to do in 2022. So there's also a physical global summit. People who cannot come physically for these two summits can watch it online. So offline and offline, uh, the summit is going to be there. So we are going to involve several types of expertise, several types of people across the world 
in the realm of spirituality so many uh, dimensions and faculties and talents and skills can be engulfed and encompassed so as to make a massive human awakening this is our main aim and vision there is a reason why we have the pure spirituality and so many dimensions of applied spirituality aspects as well and now we are going to have the third part of the series of the world parliament on spirituality it is going to be in south america so we have got in lot of speakers three digit numbers in all the uh, themes of uh, spirituality lara and his team are going i taken lead to conduct this in spanish and uh, portuguese as well as far as paul it will be having english titles as well so uh, uh, it will be much more relaxing for me to be on the back end uh, because people can't understand me there and uh, understanding spanish and portuguese is going to be tough at least for this year now maybe next year i will try to learn uh, so lara yes i will be happy with you for all the five days and also I request grandmother dr lee esther divine and our jivananda jacqueline all the people please join south america chapter also let us enjoy the show let us build the sure. unity consciousness let us build the consciousness in south america thank you very much so see you soon thank you. and all the videos of all the speakers they are going to be uploaded in the world united uh, youtube channel we have got a youtube channel so we are, we are going to upload at least 1800 videos are going to be completed by the end of the series of the world parliament series so all your talks are recorded every minute every second we don't we are not going to use a single uh, lose a single word of you everything will be uploaded in edited format in a more beautiful format so though, though we are meeting each one of us virtually yes there's a way now because of the corona pandemic so let us see let us meet again so thank you once again thanks all thanks grandmother thanks dr lee thank all the speakers and panelists thanks all the people who joined from australia south america brazil asia and other continents as well thank you very much thank you thank you samyukta can you play the thank music you. please the volume tune please <laughs> Uh, Esta, can you sing for us the World Nature tune? The World Nature oh, song for us. Okay. Yeah, well, so on. We'll be happy. The world united. Please open your videos and audios, please. The world open your united. Open your audios, please. We can all sing together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You would like yeah. yeah. So truth is one, earth is one, we are one. So let's be united. The world united. The world united. Truth is one. Earth is one, we are one, so let's be united. The world is one, the earth is one, we are one, so let's be united. 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 The truth and love, the love, the joy, the peace. and the peace, and the love, the world united. <laughs> the world united. The world united. <laughs> Thank you very much, Esther. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Love you all. Thank you. you. Divine you. blessings. Love you all. Love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, all the speakers finally will meet again after one week on 5th of November with South America World Parliament on Spirituality. Thank you very much. Thank you. I arrive at the end. <laughs> Andre. Andre, ça va? Oh, bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. <laughs> So, if I understand well, I arrive at the end, is that right? Yes. Ah, sorry. But you can sing right. the world united. The world united. Oh, <laughs> oh you should have joined a little earlier, Andreji. Uh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was waiting for you. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was on the road and I arrived oh, late. Oh, okay. Good to Thank see you your very face. Much. <laughs> so, sorry for joining later. Late. <laughs> okay, anyway. Et Gaston, tu es français? Mais je ne parle pas, je suis argentin. Tu es argentin. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Doesn't matter. So we'll meet up, meet up Andraji with all our friends uh, uh, in South America. We are going to have a lot of speakers, wonderful spiritual masters. 200 speakers are going to speak on four tracks, not on two tracks, but four tracks uh, on five for five days from 5th of November to 9th of November, followed by uh, North America chapter. Uh, we are going to have speakers from entire USA, Canada, Mexico, Cuba, Honduras, El Salvador, and Caribbean islands. So we are going to have uh, all encompassing representation from all 30 plus con countries of North American chapter. And on full count of 15 countries of South America, we are having representation. And we are going to have great music, great themes, great talks, but in Spanish and Portuguese, please. <laughs> okay, and will you send the link to all of us, each of us? Yes, yes, I will. Yes. I will. Please stay tuned. So let us call it a day. Bye, Napramito. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs> tu vas bien? Je suis... Oui, je suis en région parisienne là. Je suis à Noisy le Grand exactement. Mais j'arrête ouais. pas de bouger. <rire> j'arrête pas de bouger. Ça a l'air magnifique. C'est un chapeau. Ah bah c'est un... gentil. <rire> non, non, c'est <rire> c'est un c'est un foulard de pâte. Ouais. Ah, je voulais te demander, André, peut-être que ce serait opportun de te demander, comme je vais m'occuper de l'Afrique pour euh, euh, de, de, le troisième parlement mondial, la spiritualité, j'aurais besoin d'être assistée pour modérer en français, car il y a... Il y a il...